you can take this practical physics notebook either from the publisher or ilmi book depot urdu bazar lahore thank you experiment 11 on page 45 in the practical notebook left side page of same experiment hello my great students today we will perform experiment to find the moment of inertia of a flywheel the details are on the board this is a flywheel and this is axle and this is thread and this is number of rotation of the thread then rotation of the wheel weight height from the ground and if we go theoretically on chart it is just like over here diameter of the axle mean diameter radius of the axle r then number of observations mass m height h string turns and small m rotation of the wheel capital m definitely mean value time taken by the rotations small t mean value then we will apply formula omega is equal to 4 pi capital n over t to get the value of omega then finally the value of i using this formula great formula which is in your book to find the value of i so different factors in our table to find the value of i first of all axle axle is this is axle then we have to find its diameter with the help of vernier caliper then its half which is will be radius then mass of the hanger then height from the ground from the bottom of this weight up to floor height h then strings turn of the axle number of turns of this thread on this axle 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 small n then rotation of the wheel capital n in this way 1 to rotation of the wheel capital n then time taken by these rotations then finally calculations and we will get final result this is overall fly wheel wheel and linked with this axle and this is on this axle we wrap this thread so we have to calculate its turns 1 2 3 4 5 6 number of turns then this is weight one weight is equal to 50 g 1 2 3 3 and also its hanger's weight all together is 200 we have to vary different weights 150 200 and so on and this is stopwatch it depends on which type of stopwatch you have and you have to check how to measure its time and finally this vernier caliper to find its diameter finally its radius then calculations now we will see its performance and after this performance we will enter its values so after wrapping this thing slowly we when we will lose before that we have to find its height from here up to ground then as i release so i have to count its rotation 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 when we will listen uh, the voice of this when it will be detached 
from here. Then we start. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, so on. Thirteen, fourteen, no, thirteen. Now we will enter all the readings what we observe actually from the experiment. So we measured diameter three times and we took its every value, mean diameter, then its half, radius of the axle, one point five centimeter, and for example, taking one reading. Mass small m 150, height small h 121, string turns small m 14, and rotation of the wheel we will do two times. First is 19, second is 17. Its average value is 18. Then time corresponding to first reading will be 4.3. Corresponding to second reading was 4.1. Its mean value is 4.2. Then we will put in the formula to find the value of omega, which is equal to four pi n over t. Its uh, units are radians per second. It comes out to be 53.5 a2. Then putting in this bigger formula to find the value of i. According to these specific values, we get the value of 6718.41. Gram centimeter square. So in this way, we will take three readings, then find its mean value. Let's suppose that its mean value comes out to be six two three seven point three four gram centimeter square. So as far as its sources of error is concerned, we should measure its diameter very cautiously with our scientific hands. Our soft hand, not very tight, not very soft. In this way, two or three places. So we must be very careful about measuring its diameter with this caliper. The count it should not overlap in this way. It should be uniformly wrapped on this axle in this way. No overlap. When we will make it wrap, so we should be very careful that it should not overlap. Next thing is when we will start time, we should be very master about how to stop and how to start the stopwatch. And when this thread is being released from this axle, or in other words, when we will listen the sound of. This these weights when it is being <coughs> um, dropped on the floor, right at this time we have to start the stopwatch, and at the same time we have to count these rotations one, two, three, and when it is stopped, right at this time we have to close the watch. So we must be very careful about timing. Thank you. You can take this book, Objective Physics Practicals, from Ilmi Book Depot, Urdu Bazar, Lahore. Check these readings as a reference. Thank you. Your readings may be different from these readings.